today on Logan Lee Adventures. Prepare for one of the most epic, stunning hikes ever as we climb chain ladders and aim for the summit of Senatal Peak at the Royal Natal National Park in South Africa. Morning everyone, it's 4 a.m. and we hopped into our car. Woke up at 3.30 a.m. and went to bed about 8 p.m. last night. We're just leaving our awesome lodge that we staying in or stayed in last night. And we're just driving through the beautiful scenic game drive. Of course, it's dark right now, but you can still see a few animals outside. We have a two hour drive to a place called Sentino Park, uh, drive park. Also a national park, but I forgot the name. Yeah, <laughs> and there's also a national park. And that national park is our main reason for us getting up at and leaving at 4 a.m. because we are doing an eight hour hike today. Yes, you read that right. Uh, or you heard that right. Eight hour hike. So it's going to be really, really cool, I hope. Or, and we'll see what it's going to be like when we get there but we're both just a little drowsy and sleepy right now so that's why my words are a little jumbling up here and there but here we go two hours later we made it so it's nine uh degrees nine degrees and it's 6 a.m and yeah it's kind of cold and as you can see we're literally in the clouds so you can't see anything else. Oops. Oop, my hiccups is back. Oh, I hate this. And we're gonna start our eight hour hike. So hopefully this, uh, the sun, when the sun comes out, it'll clear up better. And we'll see some views. And we'll see how this hike goes. And I'm gonna drink more water now. <laughs> it's high. <laughs> Shut up! I'm, I'm already out of bed. And you're doing this in front of me. Can't even speak properly right now. But it's really beautiful. Look. Even with the clouds, you can see them coming through. It's so cold that his hair is getting frosted, like frozen. You can kind of see it. Six degrees out here. Six degrees? So somewhere along the way, we got lost from the path, <laughs> and but the path kind of disappeared. So now we're not sure where to go. So we're just gonna explore some options of how to get around or get over, or <laughs> just not, you know, die. But the sun came out. You can see it right there. And things are getting brighter, as you can see. It's almost a blue tint, almost. But <laughs> that's on film. <laughs> so, eight-hour hike, and because our stomach has been doing somersaults since Asia, we brought how many rolls? Like three rolls of toilet paper? Like yeah, three full, but like four half, like oh my God. not all four, but you know, not all full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we came prepared and you know water very important drink up guys <laughs> I look blue sky oh, Wow blue skies oh, oh, oh. Speaking of Sun and blue see it pays off to start early. Yeah, and it's only about 732. So it's a really good start to a morning uh, This is nice first one's up. Yeah, we're literally the only ones here come to our first ladder Ta-da! Not ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> and then still up there. We made it to what we can before the summit. And now, as you can see, there's this one badass mother chain ladder. And there's like spoke wheels on the side. There's chains, as you can see, going all the way up. And then there's a ladder. So, we can go all the way up. And then I had to go back down because up there's the summit and that's what we came all the way for. But I don't know how I'm going to go down later on. Not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to worry about 
how to get there faster. It looks cool. <laughs> really, really cool. So here we go. Oh, it's quite sturdy. Oh, and then it moves. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't hold all the wheels. You hold the bars. Oh, with the bars. The bars. Okay, that explains everything. The bars are quite cold. Yeah, they will be really cold. Okay. Go step by step. Okay. Oh. Oh. Guys, I've done a lot of mud hikes in my life. Just summit to Kilimanjaro. But this, this is something else. Look at this view. That ladder. Oh. Look, looks like he's standing on the edge of the world. That's where the ladder is. Ladder was. Then we've got this here, and then, you know, you arrive to the top of the those steep ladder, so you think, and you look up. Look at that. Look at that. That's, I guess that's why this is not called just like a chain ladder, but chain ladder route. Because there's actually a whole route. <laughs> Alright, but it doesn't look like there's anything above that, so, I mean, Let's see. I think adrenaline is just coursing through me right now. You made it. Almost. He almost made it. Now he just goes straight. Yeah. Now we made it. Yes. Look at this barren, flat, empty land of the clouds. You ever wonder what it's like to be in the clouds? Oh, well, this is it. Welcome to Sentinel Peak. This Senegal? Yeah. This is the basically the summit or the peak of at the Royal Natal National Park. This mountain in the Drakensberg. One of the mountains in the Drakensberg is an area of mountains. And yeah, it feels really good to be up here. Feels really awesome to start our day like this as well. What time is it? Nine. Nine? So that took us three hours, uh, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. See, not that bad. Two and a half hours. And then we're gonna have a picnic now. So we have our berries, uh, cereal bar, which we already munched on. Look, other cows. How did they get up the ladder? I have no clue. That <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, too. <laughs> oh yeah. And now it's actually clearing up. You should go walk there. Yeah. See if we can see down the canyon. Before you couldn't see that at all because of the mist, but... I didn't even know that that was the summit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that this was the summit, but... Uh. Officially say we made it. This is what you walk the chain ladder for. That's true. Wow. It was so cloudy, like the cloud was so thick. But now it looks like the clouds are drifting here and there away and there's a whole it's like a whole valleys and plateaus and you can see a lake that's 36 kilometers away and it's extremely beautiful so I'm glad that we didn't leave and I have this guy to credit that for oh that's sweet. you're welcome careful It was like we were staring out into 
Jurassic World, or what an unspoiled, untouched, undiscovered landscape has been like since the beginning of time. Now just imagine little dinosaurs roaming around deep in those canyons down there. Imagine being one of the first people to lay eyes on this view. Look at Jeroen! For a tall Dutch man, he's so tiny in comparison to the Drakensberg Mountains all around us. Wow, it's so beautiful. Now you get like the whole dramatic fall. Yeah. And that, like that's just a wall. Oh. A poet once said, I'm beginning to recognize that real happiness isn't something large and looming on the horizon ahead, but something small, numerous, and already here. The smile of someone you love, a decent breakfast, the warm sunset, your little everyday joys all lined up in a row. And this right here is the pinnacle of it. I feel like I'm on top of the world with Yurun already. And when we conquer things like an eight hour hike, is there even a word that can encapsulate that allness of that? This is our happiness. This is our love. This is why we travel. This is why we're curious about the world. This is why we don't ever want to stop moving. And this is why we're grateful. Wow, such unfiltered, unspoiled, and untouched lands here. Just sublime. Yeah, it really cleared up. Yeah. All the clouds, clouds went in the air. Everything cleared up. Hey, look at this. You can see clouds all down here. You can see beyond the horizon and everything. Even though we have to take the same way back, it feels like a completely different route. Like it doesn't feel like we're going the same way back like it's a one-way route. Just because of the whole different views that now that you can see everything so clearly. This was the waterfall that we heard going up on the chain ladders. Wow. And then there's the lake right there. Alright, the descent, let's go down. Those ladders again. We came from right there where we parked the car. So now we're gonna go all the way down. Really short pieces were like really steep. And we did it. We made it. We're back. And now it's dinner time. I hope you guys enjoyed this hike just as much as we did. It was friggin' beautiful. The Dragonsburg Mountains are phenomenal. And the Royal Natal National Park is just. I mean, this was like one little slice of it. Can you imagine that? One little slice. And well, no words. Thank you guys for tuning in to the next adventure.